Up next is a Filipino designer who brought Filipino embroidery to the international stage. Let's meet the talented Sophie Borromeo. First, tell me a little bit more about how you got into the world of fashion. When I was 15 years old, I, I realized that it was art and design that I wanted to get into. So I pursued fashion design at SCAD in Savannah, Georgia. And then I did my master's also in SCAD, but then I chose the Hong Kong campus. I wanted to get to understand the Asian market more. In between studying, I took on a job as a fashion buyer. So it was in 2015, in August, that I decided it was time for me to launch my own label. While custom-made fashion is what's more popular with Sophie's target market, she insisted on creating a ready-to-wear line for a higher purpose. I always had this mission of promoting the Filipino craft and the artisans, but in very contemporary designs, all for global appreciation. So I felt that coming from a very artistic mindset and background, um, ready-to-wear would be the best platform. Who do you envision wearing these clothes? Well, I don't normally envision a specific person wearing my clothes, but it's more of how I infuse the art of architecture and the Filipino craft and Filipino design elements. But our specialty is in the cut. So a lot of the times when we have our photo shoots, we get a lot of comments like, oh my goodness, your model, she's so skinny, she's so tall, I don't think we'll be able to fit in your clothes. Mm -hmm. But what adds the thrill in our brand is when people try it and they're like, oh my goodness, I didn't realize that my body type would actually fit such tailored cuts. The brand's tagline, made by Filipino artisans, sums it up. The designer creates clothes that are contemporary and wearable, but which clearly exhibit detailing and embroidery methods that have been mastered by Filipino artisans. You just had a trunk show in Hong Kong. Was it difficult to pierce the international market? It kind of came by default. I was having a conversation with a family friend who's based in Hong Kong. She saw me from the very beginning when I was just in school and she's heard about my goals and my missions. And it was last year before we turned a year old that I had a conversation with her and I said, look, would you be interested in helping me start the trunk show in Hong Kong? And she said, I have a perfect person to help you. A few months later, we signed the deal. Wow. And so now they're promoting me in Hong Kong. That's amazing. That's really great. You know, it's very, we have a lot of talent here in the Philippines, but it's very rare that they get to springboard to the international. Taking on the global market is of course not without its fair share of challenges. Women, particularly in Hong Kong, really know what quality is. Yes. And they're very, very avid um, consumers for the established brands. So I was coming in as a new player, an ant in the industry, but so far we've been very well received. And the common denominator is that they like how we infuse very interesting cuts yes. and very unique pieces that they don't see quite often in Hong Kong. Hi. Let's talk a little bit more about how you got your brand to a, you know, from zero to now. At the time that I started, I did it all on my own. I opened my own uh, brand's Instagram account. Mm -hmm. And from there, I started networking with just immediate family and friends. Every two months, we launched a new collection. So every two months, I started noticing that it was all by word of mouth. But what really, really, really worked for me, which I advise my students because I teach on the side, is that it's one thing to have the heart and the determination to achieve your dreams and your goals, but education really plays a very important role. Coming in to becoming an entrepreneur takes years of research. You can't just become an entrepreneur overnight because it's a passion. Now, let's take a look at Sophie's creations for that other indispensable factor in the fashion business, talent. Okay, so these are, is this your latest collection? Yes, yes. spring, so. summer. Actually, this is our collaboration with Lanai. So, given that what's in trend at the moment is a lot of ruffles, yes. there are many, many ways of infusing the ruffle effect. We did a mix of box pleats and ruffles, very feminine, easy to wear silhouettes. Very, very easy to wear. I love this. We also added a touch of 
ethnic. Yeah, so nice. So it has a unique overall look. This collection was our first launch into the international scene last mm -hmm. November. So this is a resort collection and everything is hand embroidered by Filipino artisans. Nice. So I wanted to represent how festive the Philippine people are in our country. So I hand drew all the elements in the embroidery in each pattern. So you drew this? Yes. Oh, that's so nice. And then they turned it into an embroidered yes. pattern. Yeah. Wow, that's beautiful. That makes it so extra special. You know, you see a lot of embroidery, but you know that some of it are just like patchworks or things that they bought and mass produced. But yes. it's nice to know that you actually drew these. That's wonderful. And of course, I simply had to try out a few pieces. Love for Filipino craftsmanship, talent, passion, and perseverance, these are just some of the things that make Sophie Borromeo one great woman we love.